Hey leaders, good morning. Hope you're doing well. A little bit of a sinus thing here. I'm sorry, sound weird. Um, a couple things. One, minor violations. I've been checking that every morning. We've gotten very good at it. Thank you very much for that. Uh, seems miners are only working about four and a half hours now, not cutting it super close. So really thank you for that very much. Second thing, obviously we have lots of new people. Um, so just remember when we're like training drive through and stuff, we have all of those expectations. You guys probably do this, um, but just as a reminder, we have all of the expectations up for each position. It's a very easy coaching tool. So if you're coaching someone new on window like Josh Pisadny, hey, here's these expectations right here. Let's look at what these are. If you're coaching someone bagging, Sarah did a really good job at this when she was coaching Josh bagging yesterday um, about being three ahead. That's right there on that expectation for the uh, bagger position. So just remember those are there. If we have new headsets, remember put a headset on if, and put yourself in a stuffer position or something like that so you can listen to the headsets and coach them and catch any issues before they would arise. Um, uh, what else here? Oh yeah, person in charge. Really want to lean into this role. Uh, want clarity around it, who is in charge, and to hold those people responsible and accountable for their shifts and then to do the shift note thing after their shift. So I really think having this person in charge and people take ownership of their shifts uh, is gonna really help us in the long run. So if you are the person in charge, you're responsible to prepare before your shift, have the setup done and on the board by the time you're supposed to clock in. Uh, if you're in the back and you're in charge, that means you have a really good setup. It means you've looked over the sales from last week and you're expecting and preparing the team for the same thing. It means you're responsible for food quality first and foremost in the back. So if chicken's not good, it's on you. If fries are cold, it's on you. Uh, that's not saying you can't engage your team and delegate. So if I'm the person in charge, I'm grabbing the fry person. Hey, let's talk about hold time for fries. We're not going to serve any fries tonight. They're over five minutes. Just easy stuff like that. And then uh, coach people. Yeah, if you're in front, that means a great setup. And it means really good service is happening. It means the drive through people are aware of their goals for the night, what kind of speed we want, what kind of results we want. Our lunch drive through is I'm trying to figure out why. I think it's multiple issues, but it's just slipped back down to pre-IPOS levels. Uh, we were at about 150 cars, $1,300, $1,400. When we started IPOS, we went up to 170 cars, $1,600 pretty regularly. Now we're back down, even though we're doing IPOS, to 145, 150 cars, $1,300 hours. Um, it's really not worth doing IPOS if we can't get people through the window. I think mobile's a problem. I think the change machine is a big problem. And then I would assume you guys are really engaging the team and setting those goals. If you notice on the register, I put $1,600 now as a goal for peak hour. So let's really start championing that for people to get that drive-through moving again. Anyway, hope you all are doing well. See you in a little bit. Thanks.